Breadboards make projects so easy to test with. And with a cheap 9-volt battery power supply, you can take any project on the road. With Arduinos and other open-source MCUs capable of amazing things, it is surprising that packing more features onto it has not been attempted. Open Power aims to solve that. Open Power is an open source USB powered power supply with battery backup. It will ultimately come in three varieties to meet the varying demands of students, hobbyists, and makers. Open Power Basic provides the baseline needs of the average user. It features a 5 volts and 3.3 volts standard rails for most MCU projects with a fully adjustable 0.6 volt to 12 volts power rail for all your project needs. Surrounding the adjustment potentiometers are an array of voltage indicating LEDs. Open Power Basic has gone through some design iterations. The current working prototype shows the LED voltage display. Once fully tested, final schematic and design files will be released. Sometimes, you just need a little more accuracy and a negative voltage rail for op-amp circuits. With Open Power Advanced, we decided to ditch the feedback LEDs and opted for a microchip SAM D21 MCU with a 0.91 monochrome OLED. Currently, Open Power Advanced is in the testing phase of providing a cheap, reliable, negative voltage rail. Having a cheap, portable power supply is great, but we have this powerful MCU that is capable of so much more. Open Power Pro utilizes a SAM D51 MCU to drive a 1.3 inch IPS LCD display. For this Moonshot product, we implemented dual channel analog input to create a rudimentary oscilloscope. In addition, five digital I.O. pins can be used as indicators or, with future development, a logic analyzer capable of debugging I2C or SPI signals. Open Power Pro has gone through three design iterations. The current development of the Pro is in its preliminary stages. The analog DC to DC circuitry has been fabricated and tested for performance successfully. Current development is on integrating the larger 1.3 inch IPS display and analog front end for the dual channel O-scope inputs. Up to this point, fabrication has been a labor intensive process. Most of the boards have over 100 components and adding more and more features requires smaller and smaller components. Getting all the LEDs aligned on the solder pads and all of the components on this double-sided board took about an hour for just one board. Here's the shot of the assembled board being reflowed. In recording this, at the moment of reflow, I discovered that the iPhone has a temperature limit. But the final boards came out great and were tested to work perfectly. The load sharing charging circuit disconnected the battery so it can be charged at 100 milliamp rate while allowing up to 2 watts of power on the power supply. When disconnected, the battery can provide up to 6 watts of power. This quick disconnect feature lets you take your projects anywhere. Placing in the supply frame Hackaday Prize would be a huge help and would definitely finance our manufacturing capability. We have been looking into the Neodin product line for manufacturing small runs. With the Neodin 4 pick in place, with the capability of placing thousands of components an hour, would drastically increase our capability from two to three boards a day to several hundred per day, with a drastic increase in quality control. The Supply Frame Hackaday Prize has been fantastic in helping us gain exposure, and many people offering up helpful contributions to the project. We have learned a lot from the community, and will continue to make improvements in our upcoming release.